It has to be different from the world. There has to be something that the world looks in here and sees that differentiates us from everything out there. Or why would they come to hear about Jesus? <laughs> Hey, hey, y'all. It is a beautiful day today. We went and visited at a church. Justin was preaching at a church this morning. We've been there before. and enjoy going and visiting with them. Enjoyed the message. Went and got us some lunch. And now I think we're going to get some things done outside. Because it's supposed to be 80 degrees and sunny today. And after all the rain we've had, it sure feels nice. Audrey and Justin are out riding the bike. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I'm gonna have to show y'all. So we got an electric bike, and I'll put all the information down in the description box for you so that you can check it out. And I'll show you some clips of it today. Uh, it's gonna be really nice going from here over to the big garden, the family garden that's across my mom's property on the far side. It's gonna be really handy going back and forth over there also thought it would be really great for camping so we're excited to have it i'll have to to show it to you justin was like mid oh is it gonna be too bright he was mid there you go tilling the garden and i think audrey asked about him riding the bike so now he's on the bike and y'all apparently it's the case of missing seeds because I'm missing some seed packets that I know I had. And I don't know where I've put them. I checked where all my other seeds are. And I don't see them there. It's mostly the, ra the radishes. Because I need to get them planted. And I have some others that I'll plant. But I had a new seed packet of radishes. I don't know where they are. Vampower sent us this bike a while back and the weather is finally getting to a place where we're going to put it to use. I didn't realize how popular they were when we went camping at Gunnersville. Say hi. When we went camping at Gunnersville, everybody had them, didn't they? They did. may have to go ahead and put the chickens back in the run or they may come behind me and pick up every seed that I put down. You're friendly but you're a rooster. Yeah. Right here what I'm doing is going ahead and starting to put some seeds in the ground. 
I'm putting some flowers right here beside the garlic. And then once we harvest that garlic, I'll plant some more flowers. I'm going to show you a clip that's like a layout of how I'm planting things. Changed a few things up, but pretty much stuck to it. <laughs> stuck to it more than I thought I would. I'm always changing things up around here. But I'm just going to let you be a part of the planting with us. Show you some of the things we're planting, how we do it. And our garden is getting going. How about that? <laughs> there was sprinkle some flowers these came out of a pack that Tony sent me and so I put some of those out and then we're gonna do beets and radishes and just keep going we've got some beans squash I may put some Swiss chard probably should have already planted that but we can we can try it oh and loofahs we're gonna do loofahs and winter squash so get it in the ground. using these tomato cages to grow cucumbers on I don't know what are I don't know what these are technically are I call them bean poles Papa always grows his beans on them I just use that to kind of hold them in place we grew uh, snap peas on tomato cages last year too and they did good Huh? Yes, they, I thought so. Which one are you doing which? Either one. It don't matter. I'll do the, ah. you just do that one. I'll do this just one. Help. Do two about every six inches. Poke them in the ground? Yeah. Oh. 
oh, days like this, they do my heart good. Dirty hands, seeds going in the ground, time out here with family. Can't see, can't wait to see what this space becomes. I say I can't wait to see, but like I enjoy the whole process. So I'm just happy <laughs> to be here. There's your little before, before things start growing. We'll have to do a side by side in a couple of months. You hoeing the onions. Watch where you're stepping. Let's go look at the stuff in the greenhouse. We could probably set that cabbage out. It's looking really good. The tomatoes. Look how much better they look now that they've gotten out here. Peppers are growing, which peppers still lack a little while before they need to go out. But Tomatoes are looking beautiful. I'm going to plant the cabbage right along the edge of the greenhouse, I think. I'll give it a little bit longer. It really needs to get put out, but maybe in a couple days. Audrey rode the bike over there while I go and looked, and there's little peaches. Uh huh. Let me go mark my rows before I forget where they're at and what's where. out today weather's so nice I thought I would show y'all I ended up getting some more potatoes and we've got three full rows of potatoes planted now I <laughs> didn't realize I had some in the back of my closet from ours that we picked last year that I had saved for seed so I finished out a row of those so I ended up with three rows of taters Look at y'all. What do you think about the grass? The turkey seem to like it. Why well, did you make it out? Did you find your way out? Come here. You got something on your mouth. There you go. I think we've decided that the geese are going to be Goose and Maverick. And if one ends up being a girl, it'll just be Mavi. The kids know which one's which. I'd have to ask them. I, I think I can tell. This one's Goose, and that's Maverick. Y'all are precious. Wyatt's watching a shark documentary. You can probably hear it in the background. But I thought I'd show you the eggs that we brought in today. We found another one of Chipmunk's nests that she's been laying in. Uh, these are the eggs. There's actually probably some more out there. We gathered them a little bit early. But this is what we've got today. Y'all look at that. I also just had a snack of boiled eggs with this sweet heat seasoning on it. I picked this up at our farmer's market last week and I showed it to y'all. Y'all got the chance to go through the farmer's market with us, talk to the vendors. I'll link that video for you. But just a little update. These are delicious. And the sweet heat, it's my favorite. I've been putting it on so much. Bold eggs with this right here on it, that's like the ultimate snack. So, just a little update. And they're, they're all delicious. They have all, all of them that we've tried have been really, really good. Y'all, I'm going to try something different. Instead of making individual biscuits, I'm just going to press this out 
into a single layer and then when it's done, I need a little extra flour, I'm just going to cut it and we're having biscuits and gravy tonight so I thought that might just be easy and I just wanted to, I just wanted to try it so I think I mentioned it when we planted potatoes but the garden workouts have officially begun the squatting bending walking moving and I'm all about it it feels so good to be out there in the garden having the kids out there everybody's hands in the dirt chickens wandering around roaming around the geese and the turkeys getting out to be out on the grass for the first time this is my favorite time of year I love you did you enjoy getting to spend time outside today after all the rain we've had we've kind of felt a little trapped with the rain but we broke free today and we were outside almost all day after we got home from church don't go anywhere and i'll show you uh, what Mommy. dinner Mommy. ends up looking like Mommy, yes. oh your ball I don't go anywhere i'll show you what supper looks like good old biscuits and gravy biscuits and sausage gravy we love you we appreciate you and we'll see you in the next one bye y'all bye y'all